Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's Mission 5 in the Halo 4 walkthrough. This is Mission Infinity. And so if you guys didn't see in the last mission when you saw the Infinity ship fly over, uh, this is where we're following it. And this is going to be a three-part series just because... Actually, it might be a four-part series, guys. I'm not 100% sure because this mission is really long. And I might split up into four parts just so I can Something upload it faster and so I can commentate in shorter segments. So that that can also help, but yeah, so that's about it for that. Anyways, um, on a side note from Halo, my computer just got a virus, uh, I think, yesterday. So, mission four, I had it all finished, ready to go. And yeah, that's gone. So I'm gonna have to replay. You guys will probably have either that mission will already be up and commentated. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna have to replay that and commentate over it. But by the time you guys watch this video, I think the video will be up anyways. <laughs> but that's something I have to do now, which kind of sucks a lot. So I'm gonna try and quickly beat mission four all over again and commentate over it. It's gonna be killer. I don't even know if I want to commentate over it. It'd be odd though, but if I don't commentate over it, I don't commentate over it. But I think I will, because it was a fun mission. It just, it's kind of a long one. But I might actually just speed it up a bit. I don't know yet. Anyways, we're pretty much in the jungle kind of in this one. And the Prometheans are here with us now too. One of them's an so this is kind of um, this this mission is kind of uh, weird. It's a lot different, and uh, because you guys will find out later what happens, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But yeah, it's a pretty good one. Um, not as uh, I got to say, Mission Four was probably the one of the best in this game so far. But uh, I'm hoping to have this game complete. I'm not even done it. If it's not complete, it's not complete, but at least I'll have half the game uploaded for you guys. And hopefully I can get the full game. If I don't get it uploaded, I'm going to get it coming out. But I just, I've been so busy with homework and just school and everything that I haven't had the time to... Also, because Forza Horizon also came out, and that's what my channel is also based on. So I've been making a lot of videos for that game too. So it's really taken a lot of time out. And this game's a long game. Like, not a long game, but, like, you have to put a lot of effort into a uh, walkthrough like this. And, uh, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Because I've never done one before, and it just takes a lot of work. Which kind of sucks, but... Anyways, I think I was telling you guys about my virus. So that's how I lost my mission 4. So I had to restore my whole computer. Which kind of blows, but I luckily still had this video. Perfect, so... It's not that bad. At least it's not... It could have been worse. So, at least I'll, if I, at least I'll have this one uploaded 100% sure, and the first three. But I'm going to get mission four done, and then hopefully I can work on mission six and seven. It'd be cool if I can get mission seven out for you guys, and then try and beat the rest of the game, hopefully a week after anything, if it comes out, have it done. But if not, if it doesn't matter, but yeah, so pretty much, uh... I don't know what we're supposed to do in this mission. Betcha Cortana probably said something, but I wasn't really listening because I'm commentating to you guys, so I honestly can't remember what happens. But all I know is that we have to reach the infinity, and if that doesn't happen. I don't think I don't think it happens in this part of the mission because there's uh, what is it? There's three or four parts, so. But, um, yeah, these guns, like I said, and, well, like I will say in Mission 4, these guns are pretty awesome, and, uh, they work really well. Pretty strong. And I think this is the UNSC shotgun, actually, because, uh, in Mission 4, I used, uh, their shotgun, which I forgot what it's called. It's got a, it's a pretty easy name, too, but... They're pretty much identical, except the Promethean shotgun. They can uh, the the bullets can like bounce off walls and ricochet and stuff and hit people, which is pretty uh pretty cool. But um, 
anyways, so I'm probably going to do a four-part series. I've just kind of decided right now. Because, uh, not a four-part series, but a four-part chapter in this mission. Because it'll make things a lot easier for me. So, just look up the different parts. I'll, I'll probably just leave an annotation or something like that so you guys can easily click on it. But, uh, yeah. Um... What was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, I'll have... Bla if you guys like Black Ops 2, that I will probably upload. Not the whole campaign. Maybe, I don't know, but I'll probably upload different parts of it if I can get my hands on it. Because I, uh... I don't know if I'm going to get it for sure, but I want it. And... Yeah, Assassin's Creed 3 comes out. Or... Well, actually, Assassin's Creed 3 is out when this video is uploaded, but that game's going to be pretty fun. I don't know if I'm going to get that one either right away, but I will probably eventually get it. And look at this gun. Oh, yeah, I think... Never mind. Oh, yeah, look, I've never used this gun yet. Yeah, this gun's pretty cool. And the Promethean Vision, it's pretty sick. You can kind of see through walls and crap with it. So this, this is actually the first time I get to use it, and it's because it's all misty out. It's actually pretty cool. I don't know if you guys ever saw... Uh, I don't know, what was it? This was the only mission I saw. It was just a clip of it at the E3 or something like that when it showed Master Chief use Promethean Vision. And this is pretty much the mission. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. But, yeah. So, since my computer got a virus, I am now using Sony Vegas 11 instead of Sony Vegas 10. Uh, there really isn't it a difference, um, except for the icon, but I think I, I have 12 too, but I just didn't install that one because I'm too lazy to go for the fusions and stuff, and 11 was a lot easier to crack, so, but, yeah, that's about it, got Sony Vegas, got, pretty much got all my main uh, applications back, I just gotta install Adobe After Effects CS6 Extended again. But I'm gonna leave that because it's not really on the top of my priority list right now. Uh, one thing that does suck is that I have thumbnails made, and actually no, I think I have them. Never mind. Good. I saved that, <laughs> so I'm I'm all good. I think so. I'll have my thumbnail saved, but so that, that wasn't bad. But it really sucks that I don't have mission four. I have to play that all over again. I, I'm one. I'm the type that doesn't like to play missions over again. Like, it's gonna suck having to play Mission 4 all over again, just to make a freaking video on it. So, I'm really tempted not to not commentate, but I have to, kind of. But I might actually commentate it live, instead of having to watch it over again. Never done that before, but it's kind of, it's gonna be lazy, but whatever. I might just play and commentate it. I've never done that, but I just want to get it done with so I can quickly get past 4, so then... Once I have four done, then I'll have the five uploaded right when it comes out for sure. So, five missions. But We've pretty much, IFF on the far side of this thing. we're kind of leaving that area now. There's not really much more mist, so there's no use of it. But I still keep it because it does help. And yeah, this is pretty much just easy killing these people or whatever. Like they're like grunts, but. They're kind of like dog type people. I don't know the names of them just because I don't play Halo enough or research enough to know. I'm not that much of a fanboy of the series, but I do enjoy the campaign. And uh, I've played it since Halo 1, I just don't really like follow the trailers and learn everything about it. So this is really the first time me ever knowing anything about Halo 4. Yeah, this video is kind of, uh, well, this part of the video is kind of almost at the end. So, like I said before, I'll have the annotations, so I'll make sure you check out part two. And, yeah. This part of the mission kind of blows. <laughs> it's just mostly me killing people. But, I'm looking forward, like, actually, you guys will like part three. Part 3 or Part 4. Depends how I split it up. But the last two parts, if I do split up, you guys will love that part. So, um, you guys, like, even if you guys want to skip Part 1 and 2, I don't care. 
But just part one and two, I guess, kind of helps you guys so you guys understand what's going on. But part three and part four, you guys have to watch that. That's so fun. I'm not gonna spoil what happens, but it is a it's a fun mission. Yeah, and the ones the guy like when you guys play it, I mean, you guys will enjoy it. Cause it's a lot different than what we've experienced in Halo. So, and it's something that could possibly be in the multiplayer. So that'd be pretty cool too. Um, but yeah. So, if you guys, I might as well just say right now, if you guys like racing, street racing, Forza, anything like that. Go check out my Forza videos. I make a lot of that. And uh, I really appreciate it if you guys check them out. And yeah, stick around for more content. Hopefully, like, if if you guys really like it, like, I don't, I don't really think you guys will, but if you guys are liking me playing Halo and stuff, I might make a series out of this just playing Halo for fun. And with my subscribers, I don't know. Because I, I want to kind of get a game. Like, I was trying out with Minecraft, just getting a game where I'd play with my subscribers and stuff but um i don't know i want to get a i want to get a bunch of games that i kind of just play with my subscribers for fun i don't want to just be playing one game so i mean i thought halo 4 would be pretty cool maybe call of duty but call of duty i kind of take a little bit more seriously just because that's a game that i'm kind of good at i'm not kind of good at I th i'm not being cocky but i i think i'm pretty good at that game but halo <laughs> i mean like it's just not it's it's not, it's not for everybody, and uh, it's a game that I'm not the greatest at, but uh, I do enjoy it. I do have fun, and I'm not, like, horrible at this game. I just, for some reason, it's not, like, from this game to Call of Duty, for me, there's a big difference, but That's the friend or foe tag. anyways, but this is pretty much to? Uh, the end of part one. We're going to get to a cutscene, so I'll leave it for you guys. Actually, hold on. What happens here? Hmm. Nope, nope, it gets Jeez, to a cutscene, guys, so I'll let you guys watch it and crap, okay? So please leave a like, check out part two, and hopefully you guys enjoyed, and thanks, guys. Pray we're gonna have to give you an IOU on that welcome home party. Tom Lasky, first officer of the Infinity. Never thought I'd see you again. Seal her up! I thought you'd be taller. Ground forces are ordered to return to infinity immediately. Commander! Radio's hot! Respond to comms. On what frequency? What frequency, dammit? Infinity, this is Commander Lasky. Pelican recon teams are down. Repeat, all birds are down. We got numerous casualties and require immediate assistance. Over. Finally. Well. Affirmative, sir, but we're gonna need a bus out of here. Make it happen. You were sent on a scouting run in the middle of an attack on the ship. The captain thought Infinity could provide us cover and hold off the attack at the same time. Sir, we'll never get the wounded back to the ship on foot. I don't know if it's too soon to ask you for a favor, but... we're gonna run out of breathing room here real quick. I don't suppose you're any good at clearing LZs. On occasion. I'll send out an all-clear once the area is secured. <laughs>